Hey, welcome to Collectible Motor Car of Atlanta. My name is Chris, and today I've got a very special Mopar for you. 1965 Dodge Coronet. And this one's got a little muscle packed under the hood for you, but we'll get to that in just a second. Let's go ahead and start up front with this car. The grill and everything on this car is in really good condition. The bumpers, everything on this car is brand new. Uh, this car actually went under a full rotisserie restoration in May of 2020. So full rotisserie means the car was completely taken off the frame, flipped upside down. Everything was, anything that was bad on the car was replaced. So all your bumpers, all your trim, everything's either been redone or is new. So uh, you've got a really nice hood here. It's a fiberglass hood with a hood scoop in here to allow all that air to get into the engine there to nice, keep it nice and cool and get fresh air to it. Uh, as we look, look down the side of the uh, fender here, it's all in really good condition. You got a set of uh, American racing wheels there, uh, really nice with some uh, Dunlap tires. Uh, just take a look at the attention to detail here as far as your gaps and everything on this car are all nice and even all the way down. All your tr chrome trim here around the door and the window here is in really, really good condition. These doors shut really good, nice and solid. Nice straight door gap all the way down here. This car is laser straight, guys. You can look down the side of this car and it is straight as an arrow. And that, has, that, that says a lot for this car being black because black shows everything. But guys, this car is absolutely a beast and it's beautiful. So I call it Beauty and the Beast. But with that being said, guys, back here, you've got a set of Mickey Thompson ET streets, which are pretty sticky tires to handle the power that this car has. You also got the uh, American Racing wheels. This rear quarter panel, as long as it is, it's in super good condition. I don't see any dents, any scratches or anything like that. The paint on this car is in really good condition. Very high quality paint job. As we look at the back of the car here, your bumper is super smooth. Chrome's in great condition. Your emblem's where it needs to be, and it's in great condition as well. Overall, guys, just a super, super nice car. But with that being said, guys, being said, guys let's go ahead and jump up front and look at this engine. All right, guys, check out this beast of an engine. 572 cubic inch Hemi, making 750 horsepower to the flywheel. This thing is an absolute monster. You might be asking yourself, what kind of intake is that? That's a magnesium cross ram intake with two 770 Holley carburetors on top. And man, this thing is a monster. Once again, 750 horsepower in a, no turbos, no nitrous. This thing is a beast. And there's just something about an NA motor on how it feels when you take off on it. Just an awesome, awesome feeling. But guys, this is just a super, super awesome engine. It's also known as an elephant engine, but Overall, just a super sweet setup. It sits in there just perfect. Overall, just a really clean engine bay. And guys, this car is amazing. But with that being said, let's go ahead and check out that amazing Chrysler red interior. All right, guys, we're now in the interior of this beautiful 65 Coronet. Just absolutely stunning. You got a certified NHRA cage here. Beautiful door panels. You got a super rare Contour steering wheel. Just this car has every attention to detail that there could possibly be. You've got the really nice cheetah shifter here. This car also comes with a gear vendor, so you get that overdrive in every gear. And how you actually do that is there's a button over here that you can click, and then this light will come on to let you know that the gear vendors has been activated. These are two pods here for your Y bands for tuning. He's actually got them in the dual exhaust on each side to where when you're tuning the carburetors, you can get the exact fuel ratio that you want, your air to fuel ratio. You've got some really nice auto meter gauges here. The interior on this car is simple but clean. And I really like that because you don't have a lot going on and it really keeps it timeless. But overall, the interior, the materials, everything, the paint on this car, as far as the cage and everything, is just really, really nice. You do have some PRP harnesses here to keep you held in when that 750 horsepower Hemi kicks in. But guys, this car is just absolutely fantastic and I can't believe it's still here. Um, this car is for the money is a banging deal. But with that being said, guys, let's take this thing for a little drive so I can show you what that Hemi's all about. Alright guys, we're in the Coronet, taking it for a little bit of a drive. 
the one thing that I want to stress on this car, I know I've already stressed all the horsepower and, and all that with the, with the engine, but I also want to let you know that just because it has all that power doesn't mean that it can't be driven calmly and easily. This car was set up with the gear vendors, so you can click this little button in every gear and it gives it a little bit extra uh, range as far as your, um, your gear ratio, so it's going to be a little bit more calm. Uh, you can definitely get this on the interstate and run 70 mile an hour, no problem at all. But this car was built to be driven. It's not just a, you know, with the cage and the big engine, it makes you think that it's a race car. And it can be that, but it can also be something that you just drive to get ice cream. So I'm going to show that in this video of us driving it. Transmission shifts nice and easy. It's not jerking you or nothing. This car is built excellent. The brakes work great on it. We're coming up to a red light here of stopping. Brakes work great. Steering's nice and tight on it. Suspension feels good. The interior's beautiful in this car. All your gauges are working. But we'll get on her a little bit, just show you what she's got. She'll run good too, guys. But this isn't my car, so I'm not gonna really give it what it's all it's got. That was just kind of quarter, well, I'd say half throttle. But uh, guys, this is an amazing car. It, like I said, it can be driven down to the local car show and you can cruise it. And then if you pull up to a light and a Chevelle or something pulls up next to you wanting to play around, you can take them to Gapplebee's. And if you guys don't know what that is, buy this car and you'll find out. But anyways, guys, we're gonna go back and head to the shop, put this up on the lift and show you underneath it. All right, guys, we're under the 1965 Coronet. Bear with me on this, because this car's had a lot of stuff done to it and I wanna go over every little thing the best that I can. We'll start up front here. You've got your cross member here. It's all in good condition. I don't see any signs of leaks or anything. You've got a really nice extra large oil pan here to keep all that oil in. You do have adjustable shocks up front. This is a torsion bar suspension, and this one's been upgraded to the Hemi, Hemi torsion bars. You've got long tube headers with three inch exhaust dual all the way back. You've got a really nice Torque Flight 727 uh, transmission with billet um, rotating assembly. You've got the gear vendors out back here, made it up to an aluminum drive shaft. As we work our way back here, you do have subframe connectors. And just take a, take a note to all the attention here with all the way everything's been done. It's, it's super neat under here. Like I said, it was rotisserie, so it's super clean under here. Everything's been replaced that, that was needing to be replaced. But overall, just a really, really nice car with all the wiring and fuel lines and everything ran nice and neat. As we work our way back here, the car has been mini tubbed to fit these big fat Mickey Thompsons underneath here. And the leaf springs were moved in, inward. Uh, three inches to be able to allow for the tire to get up underneath there and as well you have adjustable shocks out back here and they are QA1 that's what I thought they were you do have an eight and three quarter inch Chrysler rear end here it's got 410 gears in it with a posi true track uh, Detroit posi track rear end in it overall just a really nice car new gas tank guys this car is just absolutely amazing and I might have missed a few things so if you want to go read the description description on our website at collectiblemotorcaratlanta.com you can do that or you can give me a call or my partner Justin a call at 770-738-7111. We got a huge folder with all kinds of stuff on this car and we can go over it in detail or we can email it over to you if you're interested. But with that being said, guys, catch us on the next one.